Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today we've got my 15 inch 2015 Retina MacBook Pro on the desk and that's because we are going to be seeing if the performance of this computer changes after we upgrade to macOS 10.15 Catalina. Currently it's on the latest version of Mojave so we're going to do a few tests on there such as boot up speeds we're going to check the performance in Cinebench and also performance in iMovie and then we're going to do that in Catalina as well and compare the results. Hopefully there won't be too much of a difference because if the performance does degrade a lot with the upgrade to the new operating system I'll probably use my existing Time Machine backup and downgrade back to Mojave. We're going to start off with the boot test and I'm going to repeat each of these experiments five times and then try and find an average. So let's just start off with booting this thing up and to time it I'll be using the timer on my phone. It's probably not the most accurate but if they're all kind of inaccurate then they're all kind of the same reading so it should be fine. Okay so I've got my phone here with the stopwatch up and here's the power button. I'm going to click these both at the same time and I'll stop the timer as soon as the logging screen comes up. Okay, I'll start this now in three, two, one, go. Okay, that took about 21 seconds. I was probably slightly delayed so I might change the time during editing because I'll be able to see it even better so if I do decide to change it I'll just overlay that on now. That was the time I just got, I'll now repeat this four more times and then I'll show you the average. Okay so I've just repeated that test so the first time we got 21.15 seconds, the second time was 21.21 seconds, next time was exactly 23 seconds, after that it was 21.25 and then it was 21.57 and the average of all of those is 21.636 so on average that's how many seconds it takes this computer to boot up in macOS 10.14 Mojave okay so next we're going to be using Cinebench R20 I'll run that five times as well and get an average for that but also we're going to see how long it takes the software to open so we're going to repeat this five times again so now let's see how long it takes the software to open for the first time okay there's the timer the cursor is over Cinebench as soon as I click that I will start the timer and as soon as it's fully loaded I will then stop the timer okay go Okay, I think I might have been a little bit slow with that, 2.08 seconds, but that doesn't matter. I'll repeat this now and we'll get an average. Okay, here are the results that I got. That was the first time, that was the second, third, fourth, then fifth. And the average for that was 1.85 seconds to open Cinebench R20. Now we've done that, let's check the performance of the computer using Cinebench. Now for this test, we're just going to run the CPU test, which is the top one here, and we're just going to take the result, repeat that four more times, then work out the average of that. Hopefully the result should be the same each time, but sometimes it can differ a bit depending on the temperature of the computer because this does sometimes thermal throttle. So let's run the first test now. I won't keep it recording all the way through because that's just a waste of time. Okay, it is now starting to run and I'll come back once it's finished. Okay, here are the results for the first run of this and it got 1,460 points, which is about what I expect. I've run this test before and it's always got around about there so I'll just repeat this four more times now okay I've just run it four more times and it's got exactly the same result each time so 1460 is what we're getting on Mojave I wonder if that will change in Catalina will I guess we'll find out soon enough okay here's the next test so we're in iMovie now and I've just compiled a few clips here I've put some text over the top of one of the things I've done an overlay which is about half opacity and I've put some transitions between each of the clips so we're basically just going to see how long this takes and this is 
as of filming the latest version of iMovie, if we take a look, that is version 10.1.12. So what we're going to do is we're just going to export this as a file. We're actually going to do this at 1080. It's the only option it'll let us do, unfortunately. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's estimated to be 98.4 megabytes. So basically, we're just going to see how long that takes. Okay, here's the timer, and now I'll just time it. Okay, so next, and we are just going to save it to the desktop. That is fine. As soon as I click save, I need to click start on the timer. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see this. But three, two, one, go. And there's the timer, it's starting. And up here is the progress. And as soon as it shows up saying that it's been exported and I can view it on the desktop, that is when I'll stop the timer. It says about five seconds remaining. Four, three, two, okay. There we go. 25.12 seconds for that. Now I'll repeat that four more times. Okay, I've just done my repeats of the test. That was the results of the first one. That was the second one. That was the third one. That was the fourth one. And that was the fifth one. And then the average of that is 23 seconds, 0.394. So that on average is how long it took to export this 38 second clip from iMovie. So now that is all the tests I wanted to do from inside Mojave, so I'll carry on this video once I have installed Catalina. Okay, it's been more than a week and I've finally got the results. I've put them all together so you can see the average results from Mojave as well. And there they are, Mojave boot speed 21.636, Cinebench launch time 1.85 seconds, Cinebench score 1460, and iMovie export time 23.394. That was in Mojave. And in Catalina, the boot speed was 27.288. Cinebench launch time was 2.15. Cinebench score was 1353. And the iMovie export time was 25.078. So if you look at that, everything in Catalina was slower than in Mojave. And that was kind of to be expected. That's usually what happens when a new operating system comes out, but that boot speed, that's actually quite surprising for me. I didn't think there would be that much of a difference. And as well, for that Cinebench score, that's a lot less too. That is over 100 points less, which actually really surprised me when I saw that. But everything is kind of slower. I haven't really noticed it that much, but... I guess it just isn't as snappy as it was on Mojave. But really, that is everything I needed to show you in this video. So hopefully you found this interesting, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.